how to mask before paint spray painting. This is very important because when you spray paint, you get paint everywhere that you haven't covered. So here you can see that these windows have a, a drapery hanging thing. I don't know, I, I'm having a senior moment. Anyway, I took that off. I backed up the screws a little bit and took the, the thing that it was hanging on off as well. I had some plastic covering the top of the, uh, of the window covering, but I didn't spend a lot of tape doing it because when I paint above there, it's going to bounce off. There's a ridge here. So this ridge is going to make the paint bounce back, so I don't have to go crazy. But I do have to tighten up the sides a little bit, tighten up the bottom a little bit. You can see the red tape. The other tape doesn't show, but there it is. It's not sticking. I'm going to have to reinforce it before I spray. So that's how to do the window coverings. The doorknobs are really important as well. I don't remove doorknobs because then you got to put them back in. You can lose parts, you have to mess with the internals. You know, these are beautiful. These are, these doorknobs look like the original thing from the 30s or the 20s. So I don't want to remove them and lose them, but I don't want to get paint on them. I simply, you know, tape around them and then cover the other parts so that when I spray, nothing gets on it. And look at these beautiful wood floors. You can't find these anymore. This is like real oak. Solid oak. Try and buy that anywhere. You can't. So you have to cover it up. And the way to cover it up, this is the way I do it. Otherwise, I have to use a lot of rosin paper and people tape them down and everything. I really don't do that. That's a lot of tape. And it's a lot of wasted paper afterwards, you can't reuse it. So I put this thick plastic in the middle and then I make sure that the rosin is on top of it. Because if it isn't, when the spray hits the wall, this plastic would have just lifted right off the edge of the rosin. And then I put the rosin right down. I can always push it a little bit closer when I'm spraying. Make sure I don't get any on the floor. Because if I do, I'm cooked. So, that's basically it. There's a lot of trim that, like this bottom trim, very likely I'll go back and roll it out by hand anyway. So that's what you do on this, this thing. I'm gonna have to take a trash bag because the trash bag is big enough to go around all of these blades and then I'm going to tape around the top and just tape it that way so that it, it makes a tight seal. It's very simple, it's going to take a little while but if I don't do it, <laughs> uh, there will be a lot of trouble. This fireplace will have to be taped off. Some plastic here we are going to have to use tape on the edges and the top and then just let it run off a little bit past the floor. That's basically it. Here we're probably going to have to remove this window covering or maybe just collapse it all the way up if possible and then wrap it with some tape. This light on top we're going to have to tape off the edge and uh, Maybe put some plastic that tightens up about around the top and then tighten it up around the bottom so that nothing can get in. This, this thermostat, we're going to have to wrap it with tape. And this thing, we'll probably have to put some plastic on it just to make sure nothing gets on it. And of course, we're not going to spray in here because it's too small and we have these cabinets and 
It's more work to try to cover up the spray than to just roll it out. Same in this back room. We're simply going to cover up the cabinets with some plastic before we roll it all out. Probably need to do a little bit of caulking on that baseboard there. See the crack. This, and this, this opening, we're very likely going to put plastic over the opening so I don't get paint dust migrating into the kitchen when I'm spraying the rest of the house. In this bathroom, same thing, we're just going to roll it out by hand. It's not worth covering everything up. It's easier. Well, these lights that you see here, I went ahead and collapsed them here. We're going to have to put plastic around them and again a little bit of tape around the base. And you can see in this closet how I put the paper down so that I don't get any on the floor when I spray in there. So this is it. Another chapter of American painting. Getting things ready in San Diego to paint. I love these houses. I did a house that was almost exactly like this 20 years ago here in North Park. They're just so sweet. Look at the the round arches, look at the soffits, you know. Look at the way the walls, you know, the, the eye likes round shapes. The only thing that's really cheesy here is they use semi-gloss paint on the, on the texture, which just brings out all the ugliness of the texture. Probably this house was originally smooth and then they added texture to it, but we'll do it in flat.